A climb to Gyeon, and we start off with the top stories. Korea has again reported a triple-digit increase in new COVID-19 cases four days after a short downward trend. A series of new cluster infections have been reported and infection routes remain unidentified for a quarter of the total cases over the past two weeks. Concerns are rising that this quiet transmission in local communities will lead to another resurgence of the disease after the Chuseok holidays. A mental hospital in Gyeonggi-do province. Some 200 patients are housed here. After one of its staffers tested COVID-19 positive, the facility confirmed two more cases. An infection was reported at this mass company in Gangnam, Seoul. Later, it reported seven more cases and was found to have failed to abide by anti-epidemic rules. Two new cases were confirmed to be linked to a previous infection at a daycare center in Yichan, Gyeonggi-do province. A business gathering in Chilgok, Gyeongsangbuk-do province, and a matchmaking company in Iksan, Jeollabuk-do province emerged as a source of small group infections, reporting four more cases. Despite a ban on in-person religious services, some 10 people held two meetings at Uri Church in Songpagu, Seoul, which earlier reported one additional infection. As disregard for precautionary rules has led to a series of cluster infections, the number of locally transmitted infections posted a triple-digit growth four days after a short drop. Infection routes remain unknown for a greater proportion of cases. Over the past two weeks, infection routes were not identified for 25% of the total, recording the highest rate since the country began compiling relevant data. This is why there are concerns for a possible disruption in quarantine efforts and another wave of the virus with the Chuseok holiday approaching. Chuseok 연휴의 대규모 인구 이동이 예정된 만큼 그 전까지 최대한 환자 수를 줄이고 지역 사회의 잠복한 감염을 조기에 발견해야 합니다. The government unveiled detailed guidelines on working from home an option it promotes as a way to help reduce COVID-19 infections.